guy called uh, Bill Thacker. Bill Thacker. He's Bill an internet Thacker. A- Bill He's an Thacker. Internet that's activist. it. Not Thacker. Oh, he's going to um, His name sounds familiar to me. <laughs> He's probably been stalking you, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit of an activist. He's an internet activist. He's out there trying to run things around good things happening so he's got a few things that are coming up is he part of the anonymous group i'd say um well as far as i know no one is part of it because no one will admit to it but i'd say he hangs (laughs) around the fringes of it handy that just the new secret society uh the old anonymous it's just the extension of the illuminati isn't it Mm, really well no uh well we can't say too much show because we're on their side if we don't (laughs) we're stuffed or skid row stuffed if if you're gonna beat these guys like president obama has a a blackberry so i know a lot of those guys use blackberry it's Mm, like if mm. they're gonna play their bug game that way it's good for everyone to play by those rules, so... Mm. Indeed. Thanks, BBC. You're listening to Workers Radio on 88.9 FM, Radio Skid Row. It is about uh, six minutes past eight o'clock. My name's Shard Core. That's Jack Frost. We've got D in the studio as well. 25 degrees today in Sydney. Going to be a few showers. Ooh. Tomorrow, um, going to head up to about 28, 29 on Friday. Yep. Might be a little bit less rain those next couple of days, but then uh, rain back in on uh, the weekends. So there you go. There you go. Thank you there, Shark. Good day in the studio. My name's Jack Frost. And we've got, from all the way from America, we've got uh, Bill Thacker. Bill, can you hear us, man? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, we just uh, we need to turn up the volume a bit up there, D. We just got to get there. Uh, Bill, can you tell us whereabouts in America you're from? Uh, Arizona, Tucson. Yep. yep. Oh, okay, cool. Now, Bill, uh, you were on the internet. Um, We've uh, you've put up um, uh, about this a group called Gulen. Is it Gulen or Gullen? Gulen. Uh, Fatulo Gulen. G U L E N. Now, wh- th- this is a group of uh, people, um, and uh, you guys are very concerned on the net out there um, for the anonymous. Very concerned about this group called um, uh, the the Gullen or the Gulen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why why are you concerned about this group? Well, what, what it, the uh, Fatula Gulen movement, yeah. what it is, it, it's, a, it's an entire social movement that originated back in Turkey. And uh, it, it's not an Islamic movement. It, it's highly personalized. It, it's, uh, it, it, it is actually, for all intents and purposes, it's a cult. All right. And uh, it, it's, it's a highly, highly uh, financed um lot, lots of money going around in it and uh they've recently in the last 10 years infiltrated the United States mm. uh using charter schools uh, so indoctrination yeah. schools for kids now they going for the uh, kids or do, it's just different schools right uh you can call it uh, indoctrination it's more of a of a soft uh form of indoctrination basically the goal uh, from what I've seen in reports and in Golan's own newspaper, mm. uh, we'll get to exactly who he is and, and exactly how much control he has. But um, what it is on a global scale is that they're they're trying to convert these kids to becoming sympathizers for the movement. And why is that? Uh, if you look, if you remember uh, back in the 80s when you had the Ayatollah Khomeini, uh, how he actually left Iran yeah. and he couldn't come back until all the people and until he actually had control, you know, his people controlling uh, the state. So let's back up here and just kind of get a little background on Fatullah Gulen. Yeah. Back, back in the uh, 90s, he was ran out of Turkey. He was one of the most uh, influential uh, uh, preachers. And he had given a speech for where he was telling his followers to basically overthrow the government. And uh, so he fled Turkey to avoid persecution. Uh, they will say he left for medical reasons, but uh, the fact is they were going to throw him in jail. So he lives here in the United States. Our government knows he's here. Um, Ex-CIA... Um, uh, Graham Fuller and, and several others vouched for him to stay here. Uh, the FBI and Homeland Security had said, we don't want him here. He can't, you know, he doesn't need a green card. We don't want him here. The CIA vouched for him so he gets to stay. Bill, can you hear us? 
And uh, Fatula Gulen owns now, uh, Bill, TV stations, Gulen, radio uh, the, uh, stations, the, several newspapers, this sort of publishing houses. Going around. It's what? probably in full of trade in Australia. If you're out there, uh, so if you're in the Gulen Cole, give us a call on 9950 We're well. uh, exposing I mean, um, what this cult's uh, all about. How is it a threat to the community, uh, you think? Uh, well, basically, and again, is what, what they're doing is that they're trying to control and dominate the global education system. They actually, like, here in America with these charter schools, at first they were trying to tell all the parents that these were Turkish scholars, that Turkey has the highest in math and science, mm. um, you know, that there's basically something that they're not. Mm. And a lot of people take things at face value. Yeah. And so with a little bit of research, you'll find out that according to the EEOC, that uh, Turkey is actually at the bottom of the list when it comes to science and math. Uh, they are not scholars. In fact, a lot of them were uncertified and even uncredentialed to even be teaching at these schools. So, and so what they do is that they also push a lot of the Turkish language, the culture, the food, dancing, singing. They give contests. Do they hide, uh, do they hide behind a cross or anything like that? Some, some cults hide behind the cross. They put the cross up there and then put their corporation name up there as well. Uh, well, what they do is that, you know, the Turkish flag is, all, is, is their main thing because, again, they, they intertwine the religion with nationalism, their ideology. Everything is just, like, wrapped up into one. Mm. And so they try to fly under really nice-sounding names like Dove, uh, Sonoran Science, Harmony Science Academy, you know. So they try to, to you know, fluff it. Mm. And, um, but what goes on underneath is that it's you know it's they also use the schools as a well here's another example of how they channel the money out the uh, in one case we found where they bought a building for two hundred and fifty thousand mm. uh, dollars turkish investor gives them the money up front the school then comes in and leases the money or leases the school and is sending twenty thousand dollars a month back to turkey so they're using uh, money. They're using the tax title. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Listen, Bill, we'll have to have you back on. Thanks for for doing this. And um, uh, Bill is a, an activist out there on the uh, internet and also um, out there to give us information. It was very interesting about this uh, this cult group that uh, which is flying around Australia, and we're putting it out there for you, the listeners. If you know anything about this Gulon, or the, I shouldn't say Gulags, uh, Gulon um, uh, cult that's around here, or infiltrating the education system, or the uh, construction system, or anything like that. If you have any sort of, uh, we're not going against the Turkish government or anything like that. There's just this, no. this is about a group which is called the Gulen. I've never heard of it, and it's interesting to put it out there. Thanks, Bill. You bet. And uh, we'll speak to you next time, mate. Absolutely. All right.